Hello, Brian. What do you mean you glued your mouth shut? What do you mean Google told you to put glue on your pizza? Hey there, tech enthusiasts. It's David Morgan here from the Craig and Dave channel. Now, have you ever wondered if adding glue to your pizza could make the cheese stick better? Well, Google's AI thought so. Today, we're diving into the wild world of AI-generated information where you need to keep your critical thinking cap on. We're going to explore fascinating and sometimes hilarious world of tech and education today. So let's talk about AI in search engines. Artificial intelligence is like that super smart friend who knows everything. It uses machine learning and natural language processing to understand your questions and find the best answers from the internet. Sounds great, right? Google introduced this shiny new AI generated search results overview feature, promising it would do the work for you and make finding information online easier. Sundar Pinchai, Alphabet CEO, even said that this would revolutionize how we search. But here's the kicker. Just days after launching, Google had to pull back some of these AI results because, well, they were hilariously and dangerously wrong. Picture this. You ask Google AI about former President Barack Obama's religion, and it confidently tells you he's a Muslim. Spoiler alert, he's a Christian. Or how about this gem? Google's AI claimed that none of Africa's 54 recognized countries start with the letter K. Ever heard of Kenya, Google? These errors are more than just a facepalm moment. They spread misinformation and shake our trust in these tech giants. People rely on Google for accurate information. And when AI messes up, it can have serious consequences. Now, let's get to the funny bits. AI's hallucinations. This is when AI gives completely wrong answers, but it does so with absolute confidence. One of my favorites is when Google's AI suggested that to make cheese stick better to your pizza, you could use at non-toxic glue. Seriously, glue on your pizza? Hello, Domino's. I'd like one extra large cheese pizza. Don't hold back on the glue. Or how about the AI recommending that humans eat one rock per day based on some dubious Reddit comment? Not exactly a balanced diet, right? These hallucinations happen because AI learns from a vast amount of data, including unreliable sources. Sometimes it can't tell the difference between a joke and a fact, leading to these bizarre suggestions. So why does this matter? Over-reliance on AI can be risky. Imagine somebody using the non-toxic glue on their pizza because they believe the AI. Or worse, following the advice to eat rocks. It's a reminder that even though AI is powerful, it's not infallible. We need to use our judgment and verify information, especially when it sounds too weird to be true. Google has been scrambling to fix these issues. They've removed the incorrect AI overviews and promised to refine their systems. Google spokesperson assured us that they're taking swift action to improve AI accuracy. But remember, even Google acknowledges that their AI is still experimental. Looking ahead, there's a lot of potential if AI tools are perfected. Imagine getting accurate search results in seconds without wading through tons of websites it could transform our online experience, but it's a tough road. Google, OpenAI, Meta, they're all racing to create the best AI, but they need to do it ethically and responsibly. So what's the takeaway here? Always think critically. Just because AI says it doesn't mean it's true. Verify your information. And if you've ever tempted to put glue in your pizza, maybe just put extra cheese on instead. To summarize, Google's AI search tool recently provided incorrect and bizarre suggestions, like using glue to make cheese stick to pizza and recommending people eat rocks, highlighting the danger of over-reliance on AI. These AI errors stem from the technology's inability to distinguish between reliable sources and jokes or satire, leading to the spread of misinformation. Google is working to improve its AI systems, acknowledging that their technology is still experimental and requires further refinement. Users should always verify information and think critically, as AI, despite its potential, is not infallible. Well, that's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the quirks of AI, then hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more tech insights. Remember, the future is fascinating, and sometimes it's also just plain funny. See you next time. It's the Craig Dave channel with Dave, fun and tech.
They're out of sight. Days won't hit. He 